My YouTubers, my YouTube family, welcome. Today we are going to be making stuffed artichokes. So let's get right to it, guys. It's very simple and very, very tasty. And you'll absolutely want to impress your guests. I highly suggest you serve them this delicious dish. Come on down. Okay, here we have some artichokes. What I did is I had to step out for a little bit, so I boiled them for a little bit. Not boiled them, but I, you know, kept them, I put them on simmer for about two hours. Just so they soften up a little bit. So when I actually cook them in here, uh, they'll be soft and I don't have to cook them for three, four hours. Cook, cook them for an hour and and, and, and it'll be done. Um, here's the water I cooked them in. This juice here. So I'm going to use some of this juice. That's why I saved it. And I also made a little bit of a uh, sauce. It's a white sauce with garlic, and I have some other stuff in there for pasta for dinner to go along with the stuffed artichokes. So here we go, guys. I prepped all my ingredients already. This right here, and I'm going to get to this, but this this has to do with this. At the end of the artichokes, you cut them off. Okay, and what I do, this is edible. So you get that skeevy stuff from the store where they cut it. Boom. Get rid of it. Okay. Take these off. Quarter it, real simple, boom, boom, ah! I'm just kidding, I got you again, didn't I? Ah, I got you, didn't I? Don't lie to me, I got you, you come on, you want a little bit, want a little, salute, huh? Oh. Always drink while you're using knives. Okay, I'm kidding, you don't always want to drink while you're doing using knives. So, this is all cut up and quartered, quartered, throw it in there because... What we're going to do is we are going to use that as part of the stuffing. Okay, this is the artichoke stalk. This is stuffed peppers and stuffed with breadcrumb. And um, they're just cherry peppers. Okay, I like the breadcrumb one because they're much better. Um, this one here is just, this is a little bit for me. It's, I'm going to eat that because I love them. And this is clearly the main ingredient, the garlic. Because we're Italians, we love garlic. It's good for you. Now we're going to slide over here to the uh, the eggplant. My cousin Mike out there. Simeon. Yep. One of your favorites, baby. You know you love it. I'm going to have to send you some more. And uh, a little bit of crushed red pepper. So we got uh, one, two, three, four. What do we got? We got four, four, five salt and pepper. Four or five ingredients. It's pretty simple. Okay. Do not. And I repeat. Ash back. Do not put your fingers in here because you will get pricked. And uh, nobody wants to get pricked by an artichoke, right? So just open it up a little bit with the, um, just a little bit, with the, um, the end of a spoon or a fork or something, all right? Just so you can make a, create a little pocket. You see how this opens up? Nice, nice. And I'm going to stuff that with all this goodness here and this piece of bread. I'm going to break it up so we get some bread in there. And so... Open that up, you create a pocket. Now come on down here. This cherry pepper oil, key. Put this in here. Let, let's get this uh, fired up. Pour that right in there, guys. Pour it right in there. Mix it up a little bit so you get all the uh, the breading and stuff out of there. Boom. Okay. So you, you throw it in. You throw it in. Let me turn this off over here, actually, because it's been going on for a while. I'm going to slide that back so it's out of the way. We don't need any interruptions. And while that's going, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. While that's going, that oil is going to get going. We're going to saute some garlic in there. Okay, camera lady, you got a problem? What are you eyeballing me for? Don't you eyeball me. Don't, don't eyeball me, okay? I'm trying to teach these guys how to cook. So we're going to throw some. Hold on. Pepper, pepper, cherry peppers, love them. Hmm? I know. I got a little alizio over here. You guys know what that is, right? For you non-Italians, that's anchovies. I like them. All right, so this is going. Let's open the rest of these up over here. Okay. Seriously though, I stuck my finger in here earlier. 
How about you, guys? I thought I needed stitches. Huh? It, it bit more than it actually, uh, it didn't bleed or anything. That's so crap. Okay. So, we are going to breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, come on. It's bread. Throw the bread in there. Throw it in. Throw it in. A little bit. That's popping over there. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But definitely popping. Saute a little bit of garlic in there. Okay. How much garlic is that? That was about uh, an entire bulb. Good sized bulb. Throw that in there. Get that going. We're going to saute that. Come back over here. Put some of the bread in there. Chris, when this, when this is all done, this bread just... It absorbs all the flavor and all the infu the ingredients all become infused and you eat the bread and it's like, oh my God, is it, this isn't bread, is it? But it is bread. All right. He's, um, this is just some hard rolls. Somebody I saw in somebody's trash down the street. I said, shit, I need bread. I said, let me grab that bread out of the garbage. No, I'm kidding. There's a nice import store. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. Relax. Me? OCD? Come on. What are you kidding me? I skeeve everything. So, the um, camera lady drinking my beer. Give it back. Don't make me go grab my pistol. Give it back. Okay. Okay. So, now we're going to put some of the artichoke stalks in there. And once these are done and you're eating them, you're going to know why I put them in there. Because, damn, they taste good. They taste good. And you want a little something in there so you can sink your teeth into other than just a regular boring artichoke cooked with a little... Oh, uh, well, yes, we're having artichokes. Oh, they're delicious. Yes, we cook them with a little bit of garlic and oil and olive oil and... Yeah, okay. Put something fun in there, okay? Put some stuffed peppers. Come on, put the peppers in there. Throw it in! Put it in there! Throw it in! All right, wait, wait, want some more? Why, I shove it in my mouth. Hold on. No, I won't. I'll have two rats. See? It bit me. They will bite you. They will bite you. Throw, throw some garlic. Come on, a little bit of garlic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys are saying, oh my God, the garlic. What are you kidding me with that garlic? You're gonna, what are we doing? No, throw it in because when you're, you're cooking these, remember guys, this is gonna, this is gonna cook for like a good, honestly, at least an hour and a half. On, you're gonna bring the juice to a boil, okay? Bring the juice to a boil and then um, once the artichokes are in there and they start bubbling, you just put it on simmer, man. You just let it simmer and steam itself. I want to lick my fingers, but I won't. Okay. So, I'm going to slide this off because it's golden brown. Actually burns a little bit, but you know. We go on, we get it to the bottom. But if, if it burns a little bit, you don't want to get splashed with this freaking oil. It's hot. If it burns a little bit, guess what? As long as it's just a little bit where it's golden brown like this, guys. Can you see that? Huh? See? As long as it's like that, it's fine. Because, you know what? You're going to put some water in there. All right. You got to be very, very careful when you're pouring oil, water in hot oil. You better just watch out. Because depending upon how hot it is, that'll happen. And that could be very dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. It'll burn you. Be very, very careful. Make sure it's not, as, you know, too, too hot. All right. We're going to load this right up here. Put that in there. Now, you see you got your nice broth that the artichokes are going to cook in. So, I'm going to bring... Actually, I'm going to bring this over here just so you to show you guys... We're going to close these up because I want them to fit. Now, if, if you remember when I started how small these were, yeah, look at them now. They puff right up when you open them up and stuff them. So, look at that. Shit, I hope I fit them all in there. We'll fit them in. Listen, if I could fit into these pants this morning after going out last night and eating and drinking my face off, we could fit these artichokes in this little pan. You got to watch out because you get burned, guys. Okay, like I just did. Okay, so we got a little bit more garlic. What do we do? Throw it in! Throw it in! Throw it all in! All of it! Throw it in! Boom, 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 boom. 
okay? Throw it all in there. Throw some more of this. You could put this in the sides or it absorbs the, the, um, the juice because you're going to want this. This tastes unbelievable. Tough it in. Stuff it right in there. It's going to get soft, so it'll be fine. So this is just one hard roll. And at the end of the video, guys, don't forget, we're going to go over all the ingredients that are actually in here. Remember to be careful because this stuff is hot and these artichokes are freaking sharp. They will prick you. All right. Here's a little bit. People, you know, they're like, oh, I don't know if I like that. Well, you know what? Then don't put it in. But if you liked marinated eggplant, not in vinegar, in olive oil. Don't get the one in the vinegar. It'll taste like, bleh. You won't even want to eat it. Not that it's bad, but with this dish, no. You don't use the vinegar. You use the, um, the one with the, uh, the olive oil. So that's that, guys. Now, come back over here with this. Can you take me to the emergency room after this so they can suture this up? No. Mm. How fast was that? Camera lady, how fast? 20 minutes? I don't know what the frig that means. Did you just say it? <laughs> Talk about a meal in 10 minutes. What? What are you kidding me? We want to get these videos out to you real quick because we don't we don't want you to sit there and have to go through and watch and watch it. Forget about it. Come on, come on to the end of the video. You're going to have all, have all the information you're going to need. You just load that right up. Put this over here. I'm going to put some crushed red pepper. We're going to cover that up. Okay. And when we come back, <laughs> I'm going to take one of these out. And you remember the structure of these. They're pretty, pretty stiff. When I take these out, we're going to put them on the, the cutting board, and we're going to taste them. I'm going to cut it open. I'm going to show it to you guys. I, maybe that was a little too much crushed red pepper, but that's okay. Okay? And they're going to fall apart because they're freaking delicious. Look at that. Okay, guys. It'll seem like a blink. We're going to let these just simmer for an hour and a half. And when we come back, we're going to eat them up. We're going to drink it up. We're going to enjoy ourselves. And that is that, and we'll see you guys in the blink of an eye. Hey, guys, welcome back. I told you that we'd be back in the blink of an eye. I um, had about 10 different things going on before, so I was a little hyped up. But we're back. The artichokes, I believe, are done, and they smell fantastic. So let's just get right into it. These, I cooked these for about an hour and a half. Now, they're, look at them. They're just... All that, all that ingredients just kind of absorbed into one, and it's. We're gonna crack one open right now so we can get a taste of them. Okay, so it was on a simmer. You bring them to a boil, then you simmer. I'm gonna try to get a smaller one out here. This might be. A, as a matter of fact, let me put this on a plate. Um. So yeah, I mean, they're really, really good. In fact, wow, they're really soft. Uh, this may have to, this may turn into a blooper reel because it may just fall apart. <laughs> now we're good. And there it is, guys. Look at that. Look at that. That look at it, it just falls apart, like I told you. And, I don't even really need to, let me get this out of the frame, cut into it too much because it just literally just, boom, falls apart. And all of this is the artichoke heart. You could eat all of this. The outer leaves are hard. You don't want to eat them. What you do is you, you put it in your mouth like this. And to properly eat it, just put it in, bring it down to your bottom teeth. Mm. And just kind of scrape it out. And that's how that's done. All of this here, you can eat all of that. So all of this, okay, we got the hot peppers. This is the bread that I was talking about. Ah, fantastic. Garlic, all in there, not overpowering. Perfectly perfect. You can salt and pepper to your liking. And that's about it, guys. Now, next week, subscribe to our channel. 
If you like what we've been doing, we've been turning out some good things. Make some recommendations. We'd be happy to welcome them. Welcome your recommendations like we are. Next week, we're going to be making Pasta Vazul. You guys know you've been sending me messages. I want the Pasta Vazul. We want the Pasta Vazul. And you're going to get it. So, this is Luigi the Italian Cooking Guy bringing you the stuffed artichokes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And enjoy. We'll see you next time, next week, with the Pasta Vazul. Cooking. Enjoy. And stutter on my paisans.